Okay, so this is where we are after uh, all of the clay has dried. The ears were still a little floppy because the clay didn't stick to the foam, so I went ahead and used a bunch of epoxy sculpt around the ears. If you don't have epoxy sculpt, no need to run out and buy it. You could just use any kind of glue that you have hanging around the house. The whole idea of these projects is to do them with recycled materials or do it very inexpensively. You don't want to go broke because Christmas is around the corner. Um, and then, so next step, I'm going to go ahead and waterproof this. I'm just going to put a bunch of coats of some primer and some sealer on this because I am going to leave them outside for a while, at least a couple weeks. Um, if you're going to have him inside, then don't worry about this step. After that, I'm going to just paint him white, completely white, including the base too, because I'm going to use a sheer fabric over it, which so you won't be able to see his spine. Um, and then his eyes black. And then we'll move on to his nose. I'm not going to show you how to paint him. No need to bore you with that part of the video. Okay, we are completely painted, totally done with his head, aside from his nose. His nose is a bright orange light in the movie. Sometimes you can see that it's actually a pumpkin. Go to your dollar store. Find some sort of plastic pumpkin. They have little pumpkin bubbles. This was the top to an M&M container. It's too big, but it was my excuse to eat M&M's, so I'm going to make it work. I just cut the bottom out, went to the dollar store and bought some little tea lights that I can turn on. That way I can turn them on or off every night. I am just going to hot glue him in the bottom. Then I'm going to take some Velcro, just normal Velcro. You can, I think they actually have this at the dollar store too. I cut off a little square. I'm going to put one piece onto Zero's nose and the other piece onto the bottom of the pumpkin. That way I can take him off in order to turn him on and off every night. Plus I'm going to leave him out for Christmas and at Christmas time he has a red nose. So I got to find something to make it red. I might just end up painting this red um, or buying more M&Ms. I'm going to leave him outside so I need to find a way to um, make him stable enough so he stays on the ground but he still looks like he's floating. Some leftover half inch PVC. These are actually leftover from making Jack's fingers so make sure you check out that video too. These uh, two pieces of metal that I just happen to have in the house already or in the garage. You can probably use dowel rods they'll work just the same. I am just going to attach PVC to the bottom of this glue these in really well so every night I have to take them in because we have lots of hooligans that live in the neighborhood that'll probably want to steal this every night I can just slide them off and take them inside and just leave these in the ground so right now I just need to figure out kind of where these need to go and then I'm gonna roughly glue them in place and then when I take them out I will put a ton more glue on them Okay, now that the front one is pretty secure, I'm going to eye up the back one a little bit. If you're doing this inside, just try to hang them from the ceiling. If not, you'll have to make some sort of maybe 2x4 platform to put them on. Okay, now that the PVC is glued in, you can see how easy it is to take him on and off whenever you need to. And then it's also going to be a lot easier to size him up for the fabric that we're going to lay over him for his body. So this is the basic shape of Zero, uh, kind of like a stingray. I was going to go with the sheer fabric, but it, it didn't hide the PVC very well. So I just went to the thrift store, bought a cheap white sheet, um, and it was big enough to where if I screw it up, I can uh, go ahead and cut it again. So I laid this on top of him and it just kind of laid there. So I wanted to give the edges a bit more oomph. So I have some wire. This was left over from doing Jack's hands. Um, it is 18 gauge wire. Use whatever you have. If, even if you have floral wire, I would just double it or triple it. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna reinforce just the edges. So I'm gonna sew this. You don't have to sew it, you can just hot glue it. 
blisters on my fingers tell me not to use hot glue anymore today, so I'm going to go ahead and sew it. But all I'm going to do is, you don't have to glue this directly onto the fabric. Just make a little hem. And then you can put a bead of glue on the inside of there. Or just sew the edge like I'm going to do. Do it around all four edges. That way when you put it over top of him, you can go ahead and make some curves in there like, like he's flying in the air, like he's billowing. So here's the finished fabric once uh, I put the wire in all the edges. It's kind of a jumbled mess right now, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to lay this on top of zero, kind of figure out where the center line is, put some hot glue down his spine, adhere this into place, and then just start playing around a little bit, bending the wires, figuring out where I, how I want it to flow. If he still lays a little limp, I'm going to take the same wire that I used on the inside and glue it from the spine, probably to the edges a little bit, and kind of give it some, some weight, some bulkiness. Um, it's really, really windy outside, so I won't be talking while I'm filming it, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. One thing I forgot to mention is you're going to need his collar which is just red. Um, I happen to have a red piece of nylon. You can use a t-shirt, a piece of fabric, anything red. Um, and that's also, when you glue that on, that's also gonna help hold his body down as well.